So hey everybody, it's TR back with another RV how-to video and today I'm going to be adding some additional USB-C power to my dash. I already have some USB outlets and then I've added some cigarette style cigarette lighter like outlets I've taken this piece off this is the side board if you will I'll let you peek down in here let's see you can kind of see this mess of wires when Newmar builds these coaches they put in all the wiring that they need for perhaps accessories like you know electric blinds and stuff like that and there's a big bundle of that wiring in there and I've actually used some of that wiring in the past to get from point A to point B uh, it's turned out pretty handy, but today I already have power in the dashboard that I'm going to be using and it's on this USB switch here. You can see when I turn that on, it turns on. So I have my own little custom tool here. Uh oh, that's not what you want to do. Oops. All right, well, I'll have to go dig for that uh, screw here in a second. What I'm doing here is I want to see what's laying right underneath here. And if I can... No, there's not enough room. So, I'll just leave that like that. So if I need to get in here to this, this is some existing power. So I need to find an appropriately sized hole saw, and I have a selection of hole saws here. Let's see, let's look at that. I think should just fit. All right, I drilled that pretty simply. All right, let's get this double stick tape out of here. timing he says All 
All right, so I got the holes drilled. I've got access in there now. I'm going to put these wires on this uh, device right now. Now we got wires in. Closer. Now. You can't see much, can you? Ouch. Come on. If everything's right, it should work. Awesome. Uh, you know what I ended up doing was is I uh, finished installing those anchors that you saw me working on and then I put these screws in they've got a decorative head uh, they're a little bit longer than the old screws the reason I did all that was because this thing was pulling loose uh, if you pulled the, the release down here for the hood I hope that keeps that much tighter um, as you can see I already had installed this device here it's run from that switch you heard this thing chime on because this switch also now runs. So that's the new device I just installed. You notice it says it's USB 3 compatible plus the ports are blue. I don't know if you can actually see that the ports are blue in this shot. Uh, maybe if I turn it off. Yeah, now you can see the ports are blue. So blue ports usually indicate that it's USB 3.0 compatible. It puts out the high power that a lot of today's uh, electronics want, uh, like the newer Samsung phones, iPhones, and stuff like that can take much higher charge currents than the old USB 2.0 standard. So I guess that's probably about it. If you found value in this video, I appreciate those thumbs up. Those are always welcome. Don't forget to make comments and ask questions below. You know, those are uh, really fun. I really enjoy uh, talking with you guys like subscribe ring the notification bell in the description below is a link to my amazon store if you'd like to support the channel that's always appreciated as well so i think we'll mark this project done thanks for watching i sure do appreciate it till we get together for another rv how-to video peace